and welcome to the Supreme Commander 2 tutorial series. Once again, I am your host, the friendly interstellar haggis. In this video, we're going to be looking at the second mission in the UAF campaign called Off Base. Again, it's a fairly straightforward mission relying primarily on air power. So let's get started. So in this mission, we are going to be attacked periodically by aircraft, which will be coming from this side of the base here. So what I generally do to save on research points is I will build an air production facility over there, which I'll use the shields to protect the air defense turrets that I will be putting up around it. This way we don't have to waste the valuable research points on the shield generator here. While that's going on, we'll get these guys building. Now I need some power as well. And once that's done there, we'll pop another air factory over here. As sometimes you do get units attacking these mass extractors here. So that way it puts a shield around and gives them that little bit of protection so you don't get distracted with other things and find you've lost some mass. Shield up, that's here. Time. As at this particular point, we're really just concentrating on building our base up. We have Coleman down here who is attacking and being attacked by again more cybrids. However, it's pretty much a stalemate down here, so you really don't have to worry about doing this too soon. <laughs> defending those towers nicely. I'll, I'll just bring our fires back down here, just keep them out of harm's way, and we'll use them later on. Solely going to be using aircraft in this mission. So once we've got our power on the go, we're going to start pumping out some more fighter craft to bring us up to about 20. At which point we will send them over here to take out gunship the gunships. And while we're taking them out, we'll start pouring out gunships which we'll use to take out the defensive towers and then once the mission expands out to the rest of the map we'll use them to push ourselves on the enemy base. Factories. You really don't need more than four. A 
Although I suppose it might speed up the production a little bit, but to be fair, this is a very short mission if you do things right. So, in the great scheme of things, it makes no difference. Engineers can be put on patrol. They will automatically repair landing nets and reclaim battlefield wreckage from mass within their patrol range. <laughs> are won by those with the most powerful guns. Research that broadsword and end this fight. Okay, so let's turn out those fighters. Where's Maddox? I'm okay, getting hammered so over here. 20, that's He's more than enough. Air Force. So we'll send them in to take out the gunships and research. The new design sorts. for the broadsword gunship is now available for construction at your air factories. It is a formidable tool for dealing with land units and structures, but it is vulnerable to air attacks from fighters. there's a couple of anti-air units dotted around down here but they're generally few and far between one or two at the most so don't worry about Let's taking them out just concentrate clear. on taking Good out job, Maddox. gunships
I'll see what I was meaning earlier about this basically being a stalemate down here. Neither side ever attacks with enough forces to push through on the other side, so you can essentially forget about the space once you take out the towers. As long as you push fast and hard enough on the main base, then you don't have to worry about any defence down here at all. We lost the shield there, but that's not a problem. It'll pop back online in a moment. And we're also going to be dumping any additional research points into the training. So we'll get a bit of a damage boost for the towers as well. And as you can see, the shield's now back up. but these waves coming in seem to be a bit harder than normal so I'm not sure what's going on there but obviously the game is reacting to something I've done differently this time some strange glitches going on with the path finding. Okay, now as the last tower goes down, we want to move our units quickly back to base. Team up with the rest of our forces. Coleman has new orders and will be leaving the theater immediately. A transport is en route to his position. You're on your own now, Maddox. Don't screw it up. I'm turning over full control of Coleman's base and land forces to you, so you can clean up the rest of this cybrid force. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The cybrid base is due north from Coleman's base, at Delta position. Your primary targets are the land and air factories. The 
Targets are heavily protected by anti-air to the west and point defenses in the east. This calls for a combined forces assault. Okay, so this is the point where we need to combine our gunships and fighters. Wait until this group's taken care of as they will. Yep. We picked up the Here comes the number of cybern mass extractors west of the enemy base. Take them out to triple their production capabilities. Yeah, as I was saying, there seems to be a hell of a lot more of them this time around, and I have no idea why. We'll just have to intercept. And then we'll make a beeline straight over towards the base. One extracted down. Another mass extractor is destroyed. The amount of fighters serve two purposes, obviously to take out anti-air, but also to provide a bit cannon fodder for the enemy anti-air, that way there's more targets, so they're not going to take out the gunships as quickly. I'm going to ignore all the air defence towers and we'll just concentrate on the shields and the factors themselves. Chipheads are on the run. Look, Maddox, I only picked you for this operation because I thought you were a shade less dumb than the rest of the grunts. But you really impressed me out there. Thank you, sir. I think it was a compliment, son. I got big plans for someone like you. So that was the second mission in the UF campaign. I hope this was useful to you and like always leave your comments below and like and subscribe. <laughs>